What is going on, people of the internet? We are going to be taking a look at yet another masterpiece, and we're going back to 1985 with Rick Veitch's The One, so stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you guys are doing okay. Here we have a nice looking hardcover published by IDW. Retails for 30 bucks US. It is slightly oversized compared to a regular size trade paperback. Story and art by Rick Veitch. Colors by Kirby Veitch. We have a long, insightful introduction by Alan Moore from 1989. They work together on more Swamp Thing run, and this series does predate Watchmen, so keep that in mind. So we have six issues here, spanning just under 200 pages. Unfortunately, it's taken me up until now to read this, because this really is a groundbreaking series. Just to give you an idea of what this story is about, we've got world-spanning conflict, mostly between the United States and Russia, on the brink of annihilation by nuclear means. We've got governments trying to create super soldiers and other creatures. And we've got a great group of degenerate punk supporting characters that really make this book what it is. It's funny, it's intellectually brilliant with some deeper meanings toward modern society, consumerism, socialism, capitalism, there's a lot to absorb here. There's a ton of dialogue and the storytelling is very unique because during the story you get individual pages with main characters talking about the present or near future, about what's about to happen. It's a nice touch. It really is something different. The book takes a no superhero approach, which is something that was uncommon at the time and asks some pretty large questions about who we really are as people and as a society. The art style is phenomenal. It's nice to see the same name on both writer and artist. It has been remastered with new scans and updated colors, all overseen by Veitch himself. It's full of visually pleasing American consumerism imagery from cigarette brands to burgers and fries that align with the storytelling experience. So in the end, this is a really great piece of work. It's deep, it's meaningful, it feels post-apocalyptic at times, which is right up my alley. It's funny, it's got it all, really. Let me know what your thoughts are on it, if you've read it or plan to pick this up. I'm really glad that I did. So until next time, guys, we will see you in another video. Hit that like and subscribe if you're into this content. Take care.